How's it going guys? This is Brad with Best Price Nutrition. You can check out our website bestpricenutrition.com. We have probably one of the largest varieties of sports nutrition supplements, multivitamins, herbals, extracts. Um, we have pretty much everything. We have the best, most popular brands. We have everything you can look for and we always have deals going on. We always have sales. Um, if you're not subscribed to our email list, that's definitely something you should do so you can check out um, when we have all of our deals. You'll be the first ones to know, okay? Because a lot of times we have limited releases of stuff that we are only allowed so much stuff in. So if you're not one of the first ones to know, you're probably not going to get it. So first off, let me apologize for the way that I sound. Um, I'm a little sick right now, hence why I'm at home doing this. Hence why I'm at home doing this. Uh, I stayed home from work today and just worked from home. <laughs> Um, but we just got word today of the new Mesomore formula that came out and I wanted to go over the new label and kind of give you guys some insight as to what's going to be different from this one versus the old one. Um, and mainly it looks like a few diff uh, uh, a few ingredients are going to be the main differences, um, but let's just get into it. So I'm going to throw this up on the screen, but it looks like there are three matrices or... Um, blends or whatever you want to call it that are going to go into this so the first complex is, matrix whatever you want to call it is a synthenox carnosine nitric oxide complex so this comp is compri this is comprised of beta alanine citrulline and arginine akg so beta alanine <clears throat> Beta alanine is the stuff that gives you the tingles, right? So if you take a pre-workout, makes your face itch, makes your chest itch, makes your beard itch, hopefully your guy, if your beard itches, if that's you, then that's the beta alanine in there. And what beta alanine does is it is a buffer, right? It buffers lactic acid. Lactic acid is what builds up as you are exerting energy. As your muscles are contracting, they let off lactic acid. When you have too much lactic acid, it builds up and that's kind of what makes it hurt and makes you have to stop. Um, at least if you're doing high rep stuff. So beta alanine will actually buffer that lactic acid and lets you get a few more reps in. Um, so it's ergogenic, it kind of gives you a little bit of athletic performance. Um, it's not anything that is bad. So a lot of people, will, when they get the itches, they really, really don't like it, but it's, it's not negative. It's just a little, it can be annoying, some people love it, but it's not bad. Um, when I say it's not bad, there's no real negative side effects if you take it at a normal dose. So next is L-citrulline malate. Um, so citrulline, right? Everyone knows this. This is like the main pump ingredient. Citrulline goes into your body, turns into an arginine metabolite down the, down the line, and then uh, increases nitric oxide. Next, you have arginine alpha keto glutarate. So what this is is kind of like a citrulline malate where it's citrulline bound to something. This is arginine bound to AKG. So I'm all out of breath. <laughs> arginine is something that's an increased nitric oxide, right? And then the alpha keto glutarate, which is AKG, is actually part of the Krebs cycle. So it's gonna help you with some cellular metabolism, some cellular energy. All right, so moving on to the mesoswell cell volumizing ATP matrix. This all is basically going to be stuff that kind of works on the cellular energy. It works on ATP. I know I've talked about ATP before. The brief overview, ATP is the energy molecule in your body. ATP is adenosine triphosphate. It's adenosine with three phosphates attached onto it. When one of those phosphates break off, energy is released. That is the energy that allows you to do anything. It allows you to do work, right? Um, if you want to get ATP, turn back into ATP after it lost one of its phosphates, that's what creatine is used for. Creatine gives you readily available phosphates to attach to the ADP, which is the 2-phosphate version, turning it back into a 3-phosphate ATP. So in this one, you've got dicreatine malate, you've got L-taurine, you've got creatine nitrate, you've got ascorbic acid, which is this vitamin C, you've got creatinol O-phosphate, and then you've got agmatine sulfate. So the dicreatine malate, um, it's creatine bound to malic acid. It's thought of to be more absorbed, more easily absorbed than regular creatine. Um, L-taurine, L-taurine increases blood flow. Um, it does have some exercise benefits, 
But what I think it's mainly used for, at least what it's really good for, is hydration. It helps regulate the electrolyte balance between your cells. Um, and then you've got creatine nitrate. So that's going to be creatine bound to a nitrate. So you get the benefits of creatine. And since it's in that creatine nitrate, you're more, it, it is more easily absorbed, which you also get the benefits of having a nitrate. Nitrates are going to help increase nitric oxide. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm dying. Um, and then we've got, where am I at? Uh, we've got the vitamin C and then the agmatine sulfate. So agmatine sulfate is a derivative of arginine. Um, and it is just something that will kind of help you boost nitric oxide. It's just another pump product, basically. Um, there's, there's multiple ways of increasing nitric oxide in this product. They went with the citrulline malate route, the arginine AKG route, the nitrate route, and then the agmatine sulfate route. So they use a bunch of different ways to get a pump in here, which is really, really good. All right. <clears throat> the final matrix is the neuromorph neuroenergize stimulant matrix. So the first ingredient in here, be honest, <clears throat> there's not a ton of research out there about this. And it was in a lot of energy drinks a while ago. It's glucuronolactone. Um, it's supposed to be protective for like blood vessel health, which it very well may be but there's not a ton of studies out there for it. Um, so I think they're kind of going for the blood vessel health. So I think what it's going for here is that there could be nitrative damage to your blood vessels from lipoproteins. And this is supposed to be what that protects against. Whether it does or not, I don't really know. Um, there's just not that much studies out there about it. Um, and then next is methylxanthine anhydrous. So this is a central nervous system stimulant. Um, it is not caffeine. Uh, it's found naturally in the body and it's found in plants. Um, and it is a, I believe a bronchodilator. It can help open up your airways, help you breathe a little better. And why that's important in a lot of pre-workouts is if you can get deeper breaths, if you can get easier airflow, you can get more oxygen into your body, out to your muscles. It's, it's, uh, it, it helps you with athletic performance. You want oxygen to your muscles when you're working out. Um, <clears throat> let's see where we at. Oh, and one thing you'll notice as I get to the end of this, there is no straight caffeine in here. Um, that's something that not a lot of people really realize or will believe. Um, I thought for years the previous Mesomorph formula had 300 milligrams of caffeine. It doesn't. It didn't have any caffeine at all. The main, I think the main stimulant in there was the methyl xanthine and hydrous. Fun fact. Anyway, uh, next we have the 2-amino isoheptane. So this is also called DMHA. So this is actually the kind of the selling point of this product at this right now. Um, so the previous mesomorph, the first version, not the first version, there is this new version, the current version, the last version, and then the version previously. The version previously had DMAA in it, which is 1,3-dimethylamylamine. Th that was incredibly, incredibly popular. Everyone loved DMAA. Um, and then mesomorph, you know, I mean, whatever. Whatever happened with DMAA, um, you can't really find it that many places now, at least not legit sources. Um, it's really not allowed on the market too much anymore. So the next version of Mesomorph, the one that we currently have, does not have DMAA, does not have DMHA. This next version does have DMHA. So... <coughs> <coughs> so, what I'm thinking is that this is going to be a lot stronger than the previous one. I don't think it's going to crack you out. Um, I don't think you're going to feel uncomfortable and all, you know, crawling out of your skin like some pre-workouts can make you. But I do think that this is going to give you really, really clean energy, especially if you're very used to caffeine at this point. Um, the ingredients in here, there's no caffeine. So if you're used to caffeine and you take this, you're going to get hit with a whole bunch of new stuff. Um, but due to the way APS and high tech formulate their products, I don't think it's going to be anything that's going to be out of control, right? Um, it's going to be smooth. It's going to give you a lot of energy, but it's not going to give you uncomfortable energy. And that's specifically from the two amino isoheptane. Um, if you guys have taken DMHA before, you'll know what I'm talking about. It is very, very clean. It, it doesn't make you feel weird afterward. Um, it's a central nervous system stimulant. Um, it lasts a long time. So if you're someone who works out seven, eight, nine at night, I don't recommend taking this. Even if you're someone who says, oh, I could go to sleep with anything. 
you're not getting good quality sleep. And if you're not getting good quality sleep, you're not going to recover right. Okay. So even if you can get to sleep, it doesn't mean your sleep quality is going to be good. That's like, you know, if you know older guys or whoever drink coffee way late at night, they don't have an issue going to sleep. That's fine. But the, the caffeine is still active in your body, preventing you from getting REM sleep. So keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> next, we have geranium extract. So geranium extract, actually DMAA comes from geranium. So I think it's synthesized synthetically in a lab, but you can find it in nature in the geranium plant. So I think that's what they're going for here. Um, almost certainly that's what they're going for. If you get enough of this stuff, you can get some DMAA in there. Whether or not that's what you get from this, I don't know, but that is certainly why this is in there. Um, and then we've got theobromine. Theobromine is found in cacao. It's kind of like dark chocolate and stuff. It's a stimulant, and it's actually in the same family as methylxanthine. So pretty similar stuff there. Um, and then the last two things, we've got naringin, and then we got cubracho blanco extract. So naringin is from grapefruit, right? And this is an antioxidant that promotes cardiovascular health. So I think this is kind of along the same lines of the glucuronolactone. It's kind of something that's going to be, protect be pr protective more than proactive for something. And then you've got the Cubracho Blanco extract, which actually is going to open up your airways and act as a respiratory tract stimulant. Um, it can be used for if you have like a bronchial infection or whatever it may be. If you have a lot of chest congestion, if you take something like this, the fact that it's a lower respiratory tract stimulant, it can help get some of that stuff up. So you could use it that way, but there's probably better options than taking a scoop of the new Mesomore. Um, so I think that is about everything. Um, I think this is going to be a lot stronger than the last Mesomorph. People love the last Mesomorph, but this new version is going to be stronger. Um, if you're getting used to the old Mesomorph, this is going to be perfect to jump to. If you miss the old, old Mesomorph, this is going to be a lot closer to that. All right. So we just got word that this new formula is coming out today. We just got the new formula today. All right. So as of today, it is November 10th. Um, these are going to probably be released this week so that we can then have them at our warehouse by the end of next week. So certainly by the end of next week, we should have them at our warehouse available for purchase. So again, if you're not signed up to our email list, you should sign up. You'll be the first one to know when these are available. And you know, we may actually start run some, running some pre-orders too. So if you want to be your first one to get your hands on these, because I guarantee you, guarantee you hands down, these will sell out. I know for a fact these are going to sell out. We're going to get in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these, but because of how pop it's the mo our most popular selling pre-workout, once we get in this new formula, they will fly off the shelves. I guarantee it. This is one of the products I'm actually very excited for to come in because I know that's what's going to happen. So sign up to the email list at bestpricenutrition.com. Subscribe to the channel. And be sure to like and hit the bell so that you can see when videos like these come out so you'll be the first ones to know. All right. Thanks, guys.